Welcome back to 11 TV Hill. Joining us now, Baltimore County Executive Cam Kevin Kamenitz. Thanks for coming by. Good, good to see you. Good morning. Tell me a little bit about crime and public safety. When I was a kid, I remember people saying, uh, I'm moving out of the city to get to the county uh, because of crime. But you guys are dealing with your fair share now. How has it evolved for policing in, in Baltimore County now? Well, we have a very diverse population, but yeah. we also made sure that our police department reflects that diversity, and that gives confidence in the decision makings that our police officer makes. Uh, we have seen an 8% reduction in total crime since I took office as county executive, and uh, it's because we uh, hire our police officers well, we train them well, we give them good direction in the latest tools and technologies, including body cameras. And uh, we also maintain that relationship of trust between the police and the community, and that served us well. Yeah, talk about that decision to add body cameras. Uh, what do you think it adds for you guys, and how tough of a decision was it for the county to jump in? Because a lot of areas are doing it now. Well, I had a uh, task force put together in, uh, primarily from the police department, and they made a recommendation not to proceed with uh, body cameras, and I decided to overrule that because uh, I'm a former prosecutor. I understand that you need to uh, have cameras to help give some additional information that uh, people's eyes and ears may not always capture. So what it will do is help us with the prosecution of crimes, but also, again, improve the relationship between the police officer and the citizen during any encounter. Yeah, lately the big talk in the county, education in school buildings. Will, will Delaney, Delaney and Towson, will they have new schools by 2020? Because this is a, this is a tall order, I guess. Well, uh, we have initiated the largest single school construction program by any county yeah. in the history of this state, a $1.3 billion initiative where we're building 16 new schools, 19 renovations and additions. We're trying to put that modern learning environment uh, for our children, our teachers, and the support staff, and also to rebuild neighborhoods. So it's a fantastic investment, uh, and uh, we're, we're really happy with the progress we've made. Sure, with those older aging buildings, is that how tough of a decision is it for you? And what goes through the decision-making process on who can be helped now and who may just have to hold out? Well, Jason, I, I inherited a, the what I call the twin dilemma of yeah. uh, rising enrollment. We now have 112,000 sure. students, but also aging infrastructure. 80% of our schools were more than 40 years old. So we knew we had to make a, a solid commitment all throughout the county, and uh, it's just uh, it's the right investment to make. Sure. Valida White showing a whole lot of enthusiasm about the school system. That has to be good for you to hear that. What will a candidate have to show to be the new leader of the school system? Well, think? what a feel-good story. This is an individual who grew up in Baltimore County, went to Woodmore Elementary, <laughs> Windsor Mill Middle, Woodlawn High. Uh, I'm sorry, she went to, I should say it the right way, she yeah. went to Woodlawn Middle yeah. because we didn't have Windsor Mill back then. <laughs> That's one of our newer schools yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, but she has 25 years of teaching experience and has worked her way through the ranks from a teacher to a principal all the way now to the uh, chief academic officer. So the key is she'll hit the ground running. She's going to continue uh, with uh, some of the great initiatives we've, we've made under Dr. Dance, and uh, I'm happy that the school board made that choice. You made a tough decision a few months ago. You decided that you wanted to do what's being called now Sanctuary City, Sanctuary County in your case. Um, right in the face of what the federal government wanted to do. What was your process in, in thinking of that? And what do you think of the outcry? Some folks don't like that idea. Well, listen, in his first uh, week in office, first day in office, President Trump instituted a Muslim ban. It's re recently struck down again by an appellate court. Uh, at the same time, people are scared. Uh, uh, I, a woman told me that a rock was thrown through her windshield. Uh, right after the election with a note that said, Trump's now president, go back where you came from. We have instances where parents are afraid to drop their kids off to school, uh, that uh, uh, families are afraid to go to the hospital for medical care, and victims of domestic violence are afraid to report the crime. So we believe that, uh, uh, that every county employee, sure. including police officers, cannot and should not discriminate on the basis of the immigration status, and our jail will not hold someone past their mandatory release date absent an order signed by a judge. And an ICE detainer is not an order signed by a judge, and as the uh, uh, Maryland's Attorney General Frosch recently indicated, uh, if a county were to do that, they could subject themselves 
to civil liability, we could get sued. So we think what we're doing is adhering to the Constitution, but we're also adhering to sound policing policies because, again, it gets back to the same idea of maintaining the relationship of trust between the police and the community we serve. And when you do that, crime actually goes down. You had a relatively easy budget process. For, for you, what was the selling point of it, do you think, as you went through that this year? Well, we have a great tradition in Baltimore County of fiscal discipline, strong management. Uh, uh, I've been in office now 23 years. We've never once raised the property tax rate. We've never once raised the income tax rate. And we have the highest credit rating in the country. We're just one of 42 counties across the country to have that a high credit rating, that triple A bond rating. So uh, uh, I think the council understands that we uh, set our priorities and uh, for us again education with particularly school construction and uh, and uh, public safety and protecting the environment sure. and creating jobs all without raising the tax rates.